Are you filming? Oh, he's, he's about to give like a signal. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Alex from Red Side, and we're here today at the Royal Selinger booth, and I'm joined by Adam. How's it going? Hello, hi Alex. Hi, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Oh, thank you. I'm, uh, it's great. I'm very hot here. But yeah, oh, yes. Well, we're really all hot. <laughs> I'm sweating yeah. here myself. Even you, you should be used to it. Uh, well, I'm trying to get used to it. Trust me, the weather keeps changing. So, yeah. Well, you'll never get used to it. There's right. always something new. <laughs> what all we're right. going to do is we're going to yes. just go over the booth, uh, talk a bit about the products, uh -huh. and yeah, let's work through. Sure. So, should we start off, um, do you want to give like a little bit of a kind of history about the company? Okay, so the company has been around for about 138 years now. It's been run by, uh, right now, it's been run by the fourth generation of family, um, Mr. Tian Yu and Mr. Yun Li. So I've been, for me myself, I've been with the company for about like close to half a year already. So what I find uh, is that uh, what Royal Selangor does is actually, main, they're mainly the leader in uh, Pewter Smith. Yeah. Yes, so we've been, they've been doing this for quite a while. And uh, for the collaboration that we've done, we've uh, done, we've collaborated, collaborated with uh, various artists around the world, uh, mainly one in China. So then, of course, the main one here is with Disney. So we recently celebrated Disney 100 year anniversary back in Ion Orchard. We had an event that we held for almost a month. Yeah. So for that, we actually uh, uh, came out with the collection. Okay, which I will show you later. So this is the first uh, collect the range of uh, how to say Disney 100 uh, uh, collection characters that we produce. For each character, we produce up to 1,000 pieces. Okay. Yeah, and of course, uh, each character that we chose, okay, comes with its own significant meaning towards the era. That's where, if you look at it inside the in the description up front, that's the year that signifies when oh, okay. the character comes out. Like for example, why why we choose Woody? It's because Woody itself comes from Toy Story. Toy Story is the very first uh, uh, animated cartoon that comes out in 3D for Disney. Yeah, so, and that's the reason why we actually brought out uh, Woody itself. And uh, actually, for example, of course, for Winnie the Pooh, uh, we actually have, uh, I mean, it's everyone's favorite bear. So that's where we actually come out and somehow it's one of our best seller in terms of character. Then of course, we have uh, Mickey Mouse, you know, we, uh, for Disney itself, with Mickey uh, Mouse, like you know, yes, yeah. everyone knows Mickey Mouse. You mentioned Mickey Mouse, you know it's Disney, right? Yeah. So, of course, we have uh, uh, Donald Duck over here, okay? Mickey's best friend, yeah. okay? And, of course, Elsa herself, uh, one of those uh, iconic characters uh, to cater to the current generation yeah. with uh, its own award-winning musical and everything. So, uh, that's why we actually decided to come up with uh, Elsa and uh, Tinkerbell, okay? Uh, it comes from the uh, Peter Pan uh, range, but of course, uh, between Peter Pan and uh, Tinkerbell, somehow Tinkerbell appeals to the public most. Well, she from used my to be opinion, like um, on the logo of Disney, like yes, the, uh, correct introduction. Part. Yes, yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. She happens to but be they, like almost everywhere. Yeah. But they also you get these in the silver. Silver. Then, this is Peter uh, finish. The these are the ones that we actually uh, brought out when we actually celebrated Disney 100 year anniversary. Mm. So, uh, uh, how to say, the difference between the pewter finishing and the ones gilded in gold is that for this collection, we only produce up to 100 sets instead yeah. of uh, 100 pieces for each character. So as a set, we only produce, as I said, uh, up to 100, 100 sets. And that's and 24 each, karat gold plates. Yes, yeah. and each character is, uh, how to say, gilded with 24 karat gold. Mm. Mm. Wow. And then uh, we come around uh, the outside. So then you got the um, uh, the bare bricks, are these? Right. So collaboration with bare brick. Yes. For this one, we actually collaborated with Medicom. Okay. Yep. As you know, uh, it's actually uh, Medicom is actually a Japanese company who comes out with bare brick, and uh, bare brick itself has been a hit. You know, amongst collectors. Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it is still is. So recently, just like the Disney 100, the sixth character that we came out, we actually came out with uh, the Mickey Bear Break also. Yeah. Yeah. So, like many who actually ask, it, is it limited edition? Yes, it is. How many pieces do we have? Well, the quota itself is really, uh, how to say, depending on, uh, uh, dependent on uh, Medicom themselves. Uh, like a made to order kind uh, of. Made to yeah. order some kind of thing. So as long as Medicom allows, we will still keep on producing. Otherwise, uh, once they tell us to stop, and we will just okay. stop. Mm. What we do is we'll come around to this side then, sure. to the, uh, uh, the smaller pieces here. Mm -hmm. So uh, are these a continuation of the Disney side? Or? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is our, our extended range of our Disney collection. These are all actually music carousels. So each of these, once you wind them up, you will play a song according to the character's theme. Oh yeah. Yes. So we have almost all the range of um, princesses in yeah. Disney collection. 
some of which are actually also limited edition, like for example, Elsa. Yeah. Okay, we have actually two versions, as you can see over here. Oh, yeah, that okay. one, that's the gem. Yeah, and, so uh, this one, we embedded the Swarovski's crystal onto oh, okay. this one that makes it, uh, how to say, under the limited edition. Mm. And for Mulan itself, there's two versions. This one itself is gilded in uh, 24 karat gold also. Yeah. Mm. And then also the base, obviously, is different Yes, colors. the base is different to different shade between, uh, you know, the gilded ones and none. Yeah, and of course we also have Mickey Mouse, yeah. same like Elsa, with the uh, Swarovski uh, crystal star embedded onto it. I love the contrast between the bases and the actual statues as ah, well. Ah yes, yes. Very, very cool. Yeah, I and mean, then you're trying mm. to kind of get to the um, different kind of price points as well. Mm. So you have the exclusive with the Swarovski, and then like Correct. the price down, but then also you have yes. these even smaller kind of cutesy Marvel pieces, <laughs> yes, the sir. earrings, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I do agree. We'll get round there when. Yes. Uh, round on that side there. So like, yeah, these are little cute uh, uh, Marvel pieces here. So you got the uh, Black Panther, the uh, Iron Man, uh, Captain America, Thor, mm -hmm. uh, Groot, Spider-Man, Hulk, Wolverine. And then obviously you got like the key rings here as well. One of the things um, I do remember when I spoke to uh, um, Tin Yu last time was mm -hmm. when you have like uh, statues like this, uh -huh. uh, there's a lot of um, kind of faults in the casting. So then there's a lot of work that goes into making it to the final product. Yes, sir. Kind of like making it perfect. Correct. Uh, filling in the gaps, getting the artists True. to. Uh, Kind of etch it out and clean it up. Correct. A lot of work, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do agree with what you mentioned, Alex, because uh, what I can assure you is that every piece that we uh, we, we make, right, doesn't, uh, will not be an exact replica of the other. Mm. It's always, there's, a, there's always one that might look slightly different, but yeah. that is, I mean, if uh, you look at it with uh, your, uh, the naked eye, you won't really like, have to notice. But otherwise, if you're someone who's very observant, which yeah. we do have come across some customers who, who is, they will actually really notice that yeah. there is a slight difference. But really, this is to each is his own, yeah. uh, whether they like it or not. But at the end of the day, uh, the, the, the product that we come up with is actually just simply mm. perfect. That makes it like each, uh, how to say, creation a bit unique. Yeah, of course. Mm. It's the same as um, we're into the kind of statue collecting. Mm -hmm. And even though they are mass produced in yes, China, correct. they're still hand painted. Yes. So each one of those is individually painted and will look, will look different. Yes. Sir. Uh, do we want to move around to these uh, Marvel cup? Okay. 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 So. So yeah, we come around. We got the uh, kind of cover series here. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have. Uh, where are we? We actually have this Hulk one to give away. Uh, so stay tuned if you want to find out how you can how you can win this. Okay. Uh, keep tuned. Uh, stay tuned even. <laughs> uh, so yeah, with the cover series, uh, do you want to go a little bit of history about this? Well, uh, the cover series itself, uh, we actually come up with two versions, okay? Uh, the gilded ones and the non-gilded ones, yeah? So we have fans who actually loves the original casting and the original look of our pewter. So that's why we actually come up with this range. Then, of course, uh, we have the gilded versions. That's why you can see Spider-Man, Wolverine, uh, one of those examples yeah. that we have gilded in uh, gold, 24 karat gold. Yeah. But what makes it stand out is that the comics itself on the, at, at the background for the gold, the ones gilded in uh, gold, uh, the white. comics will be black and white. Yeah. Mm. So each, uh, how to say, uh, design, right? We actually uh, complement uh, the, the unique uh, versions of the comic that came out with the character itself. Yeah. Yeah, so to commemorate, uh, you know, the, the reason why this character and how this character comes about. Well, I mean, like, that's the first appearance. That's the first appearance. Yes. That's the first appearance. Correct. That's not the first appearance. Yes. But most of them are. Yes, uh, correct. So, like, yeah. how, they, how, how exclusive their appearance come into print, that's where we decided to take the character into play. Okay. Yeah, just actually earlier this morning, I had a customer who actually got the first printing of this uh, Black Widow comic. Yeah. Yeah, he showed me personally, and that's where I feel that it has, uh, you know, the reason why our artists, you know, our, our team decided to choose this comic cover, it holds some meaning to it. Yeah. Mm. But the first appearance of Black Widow is actually yes. an amazing Spider-Man cover. Correct, <laughs> yes. So there's always something relatable. Yeah. Uh, this then is a collaboration with Beast Kingdom. Just, yes, yeah. correct. Is this actually something people can buy? Yes, this oh, is wow. actually uh, priced at uh, 27,000. 27,000? 27, 27,000, yes, correct. Singapore dollars, sir. 
I mean, to be okay. exact, it's around 27,550. It's about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I, okay. <laughs> the last that's, three DJ I tried to That's too much now. Yes. Um, and then here we have the, um, so the DC line, so the mm. DC corner. Yes. So you got the cover series, the vehicle series. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, wow. So yeah, we actually have the range of uh, DC uh, characters over here. The most uh, you know iconic characters will be Batman and Superman, and of course one of the most iconic uh, villain in DC will be Joker themselves. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a collection of like uh, Adam West Batman Batmobile. Okay, this one are all collectibles. It comes in limited quantity. Okay, then we come with Batman Joker. Of course, each is, uh, each and every one of them comes in two versions as well. Yeah. Yeah. So then of course we have the uh, Dark Knight Return versions. Oh yeah, mm. oh yeah, yeah. Miller one, yeah. Okay, that's yes. nice. Yes. That's really nice. Right. So all these collections, right, not entirely it's all made with uh, pewter, okay? The character itself is made with pewter, however, the base itself is actually made out of composite resin. Yeah. Mm. And of course, the background itself shows the comics that is relatable to the uh, character that we actually designed. Yeah, same. Um, and then if we come around to the... Um, Harry Potter side and yes. the Warner Brothers side here. Okay, so for the Harry Potter side, uh, our newest collection, our newest addition to the Harry Potter's collection will be Hogwarts uh, Express. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then of course we also I have. I actually live right next to the Harry Potter experience. Sorry. The Harry Potter experience uh -huh. is a twenty-minute walk from my oh, house. Oh yes, yes. When you mentioned that, that's that's something. Is did you actually manage to book the ticket for that Harry Potter experience? I haven't been. No. Yet. No. Oh, I haven't God. even tried. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I went there before it was uh -huh. I went there before it was built, and yes. it was still a studio. Oh. Um, but I've never been. I've never been. You it's, should, you know. I, I mean, I will one day. <laughs> That's an experience that everyone must have as a Harry Potter definitely. fan. Yeah. So we have a collection of Harry Potter's collections over here, like the photo frame. Uh, we took up the inspiration from the uh, Mirror of Arist. Okay. Then uh, we have the Goblet of Fire. Then, of course, the Hogwarts Castle itself is actually a more like a two-in-one product, mm -hmm. a trinket box and a musical box. Oh, yeah. Yes, and of course, we have this uh, cup, the hippo uh, this is the basilisk. We yeah. also have another option, which is actually the Hippogriff collection. Mm. Then, of course, uh, in the DC collection itself, right, and the under Warner Brothers, we also come out with uh, the Bugs Bunny and uh, Daffy Duck version That's of nice. Superman and uh, Batman. Because I know that, like, DC are a bit more open to this, but Marvel, not so much. Okay. If you try and do like a Marvel, uh -huh. uh, Disney, they, yes. they don't like that anymore. They uh. used to do it, but not anymore. Okay. <laughs> For uh, that, I actually uh, refrain from commenting. Okay. I can't. <laughs> well, maybe it's coming tape. soon. Uh. No. That's uh, a no, leak. No. Uh, oh, so you said they're coming oh, yeah. soon. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so this one is actually our latest addition to the Game of Thrones. This yep. is inspired by the House of Dragons. Yeah. Uh, this is also a limited edition collection. We only produce up to 1,000 piece. Mm. That's cool. That's very cool. Thank you. Uh, then you got the um, Star Wars. Star Wars side yes. here as well. Uh, we go. We go oh, behind over sure. there. Okay. Mm. Oh, so you got the um, the uh, Basco. Mando, Basco, yeah. Yes. What's this? A card holder? Uh, this is a card holder. It can hold up to eight pieces of card. Oh yeah. So where once you slot in all your eight cards, you just pull the cashier, and all the eight cards will pop up. Nice. Mm. I've seen a battery charger of that as well. Oh, but. okay, but ours is more to manual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. And then, yeah, so you go through, yes. uh, you got the, the kind of smaller scale, and mm -hmm. then you got the bus line as well. Yes, sir. So with the bus line, I mean, what, what material is this then? Because this is still pewter. However, because it's, uh, it, we come up with uh, actually a uh, three edition of, uh, for each character. So for the Vader itself, we come up with three versions, as I mentioned, mm. the pewter finishing, the gilded version, yeah. and of course, uh, a, mid, a more unique version is the original color of Darth Vader, the character itself, yeah. which is black. So is underneath that, it is, is that still like an Peter. enamel or what is Sorry? That? Is that like an enamel or no? Uh, good question. I, 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 I can't recall, but I'm okay. sure it's actually uh, painted somewhat uh, unique. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Right. And you got the, the art out there as well. Yes. Yeah. So for this one, it's a diorama, which we just launched about a few months ago. Yeah. And with the speeder chase bike, all this, right, was uh, inspired by a certain famous scene in Star Wars. Yeah. Mm. And of course, you just now mentioned about the Beskar alloy, we come up with Baby Grogu. We have two versions of it, whereby the Gilded version is also a limited edition. Yeah. Not forgetting Yoda. Yeah. And we come up with a few keychains from uh, some of the iconic characters in uh, yeah. Star Wars itself. And uh, for this version itself that you see in the glass panel, it's also one of our newest collection. Yeah. Uh, having uh, the, sorry, the Boba Fett Battle Ready is yeah. one of our uh, latest collection. That's we nice. have two versions of it. One is, a, as I mentioned, as you know, Pewter version and the Gilded version. Mm. 
And then of course with the uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader dueling. Yeah. Mm. I think Boba Fett is one of those characters just everyone loves him. And even oh, though yes. like before the TV show mm -hmm. and before Mando and whatever else, uh -huh. yes. it was just loved and he was like, he said, what did he say? He said eight words. Uh, yeah. It was just something crazy like Yes. You know. <laughs> and he got the sabers to kind of finish off with. Yes. So the lightsaber itself, right, is actually a document holder. Not many people will realize oh, wow. it. Yes, at once, at once glance, people will look at it, oh, it's a lightsaber. But however, when we actually come to explain to them that, yes, as a lightsaber, it makes a nice display. However, uh, we also try to focus on practicality. Yeah. That's why we decided to make, our, make it into a document holder. So over here for the Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, how to say, lightsaber, yeah. uh, if you uncapped it over here, here you can actually uh, slot <laughs> in your documents. So yeah. whatever precious document that you have, you know, uh, <laughs> laying around at home, even you want to hide it, you know where to go. <laughs> so we also have like uh, Luke Skywalker over here. Ah, it's very mm. cool. It's very cool. Yeah, my red tie and my uh, the certificate you get with the uh, hundred thousand subscribers. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I want to yes. thank you for your time, Adam. No man. Problem, it's been awesome, Alex. man. Thank uh, you very much. You know, what we do is we'll put the uh, in the description. We'll put the details for Royal Salinga, uh -huh. and um, make sure they like you know try and get people to cross over to the, the website. All right. But yeah. Thanks for your time. Thank and, you very uh, much. It's sir. been awesome. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank do you. Do the usual, everyone. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And happy collecting. Thank you. Bye bye.